gentlemen. Days off to a late start already. Mine is a life of complications like many of yours and the best designs are destroyed on a daily basis. I woke up this morning, we have a two hour delay for schools here in Pender County, North Carolina. And the reason is really hard to find why that would be. We had the ice storm a few days ago, but there's not a piece of ice around anymore. A lot of the ice melted, a lot of the snow melted and flooded some of the outlying areas, but it's really not a big deal. I mean, nothing's really flooded that bad where you can't go anywhere. So, and of course you have two hour delay. And then my wife, who's an epileptic, had a seizure this morning. So always, there's always one more little item to get out of place and she will be resting and she'll be fine. It's something that she's learned to deal with, but every now and then she'll have one. But eventually we're gonna get to a service call. And when we do, it'll be like a sanctuary in the storm. So come along for the ride. We'll see what's going on at the service call we're going to get to eventually. Guys, this is our air handler. We're in a garage. We're we'll taking a look at. I had to move the storage tank for the water and the motorbike out of the way. Just fine, because I work by the hour. So we're gonna hook up our probes to the air handler, check and make sure the heat kit's coming on. I do believe we are a very spiffy duct system here. A retrofit gone wrong, looks like. So maybe we'll check static pressure too. And see 10 kW happening. heater, so once we get into testing that, we'll be looking for 40 amps up there. We're gonna put one of our probes right in the side so I get an air temperature before I get to the heater. And another one in the return box. Then I can put static probes on either end if I want to as well. We'll see how the pressures look to start with. And we'll move on to static if it looks like we need to check that. But it is a very old duct system mated with a newer system Newer is relatively speaking, um, because the duct system is like 20 or 30 years old. The system is like 9 years old. But we're going to get everything placed in here so we can start things up and test it. Guys, I'm going to turn the power back on here. The system is set to emergency heat. Emergency heat is jumped over to auxiliary heat. So if either one of those works, we should see that light up as 40 amps. And the blower should start as well. Let's see here. Here's our blower. Let's see here. So far, nothing. We can double check our wiring coming into the air handler make sure that we're getting 24 volts on our white wire coming from the thermostat. We have our probes on either side of the contactor and we do have 26 volts here so the contactor is receiving power but let's see if that thing is pulled in. Yeah it's pulled in. Double check and make sure. So we have power there but we are not getting any amperage. Let's find out why. We've gone to two points along the heat strip circuit and we do have 240 volts in between those two points, which means there's a break in the heat strip circuit somewhere. So we're actually just gonna take the kit out and take a look at it because we have neither side of the heat strip working. Uh, you can see if one of the one-time limits is busted or something like that. This is a set of heat strips. I call them bay heaters for train, uh, B-A-Y. And we have our fuse here, a little link that will open if there's an over limit issue with the heater. And what I did was I put my ohm meter on either side of these limits, both of them, and we have open line. So they're both open. Now there's more than likely an issue that caused this problem since both of them have failed and that's probably airflow. But we're gonna go ahead and put it back together, test out the rest of the system and then we can see if the airflow is an issue, what has caused the problem, and then we can replace the heater as needed. Okay guys, we have our air handler up and running now. We're gonna take a look at the static pressure. I'm gonna show you one more time our fabulous ductwork 
before I, I show you the static. So you can imagine in your head what you think the static should be. At the base of the air handler we have a box, a one collar coming off the side. It's either 16 or 18 inch. We have a three and a half ton machine. We have it going in there and as you see the turn is not what you would call smooth. We have another large flex duct going to an old piece of duct work down there. It's existing duct work from long ago. It comes up here, kind of wraps around, kind of squirrely. Looks good. I'm gonna go look at that. We have a sort of a kind of a bullhead fitting. Of course, there's no turning vanes or anything like that. Uh, so let's take a look at our static. As you see, our static is pretty high. 0.95 is quite a bit of static there. Um, the duct system, that's sort of like having a static of 0.95 is like saying that what the hell are you doing putting this machine with the duct system. Although it is variable speed, <laughs> it uh, it's not a variable speed, not invincible. You can't just put it wherever you want. But it gets more air than the equivalent X13 or PSC motor, but still, like some of the guys have been saying, you'll go over the RPM of the motor, you have hunting, you just have some, you have a lot of issues with that. So let's see what our pressure is now and our temperature. See our static dropped quite a bit, still high, but not nearly as high as it was before. As you guys can see, the head pressure came down, as well as the temperature spread, because there's more air moving across the machine itself. Uh, no doubt that the lack of airflow over time had caused those heat strip limits to bust. Uh, we had a high static pressure. 0.8 without the filters in and it was up near one with the filters in place as dirty as they were and even a variable speed blower will have a hard time dealing with static that high. Decreased airflow means the heat strips run hotter, the temperature spreads higher and it's more likely to trip a limit which is what happened in this case in my opinion. So I had to order a new heater and I will see you guys.